Citizen Watches is really trying to go up market. They just released the Caliber 0210 for $8,400. So here it is right here. And this thing, I have not seen a Citizen Watch as expensive. Now, I haven't been following them that long. What I know them for is value. I'm wearing right now my Citizen Fujitsubo. Amazing titanium dive watch. Got an awesome story behind it being the barnacle diver. It was found in the Pacific Ocean, this 1970s watch. After three years, and had barnacles all over. It was still taking amazing story amazing watch. And they have a few more expensive automatics. And what they've really known for their more expensive line is the Citizen line of watches, which is around like $4,000. There's one that's a little bit under $4,000, which are quartz movement watches, but they have really, really great accuracy behind them. And then they have some expensive eco drive watches, like super, super thin ones, very accurate. And that's what I kind of know them for. Now they came up with this $8,400 automatic watch. Now something they seem to really be focusing on for this watch is the dial with an electroformed sand ripple pattern. Took me a few takes to get that right without reading it straight off the screen. It also has minus three to plus five seconds accuracy a day, which is pretty good. Other specs include an integrated bracelet, 40 millimeter case size, 100 meters of water resistance, sapphire crystal lens, and I have to tell you, the movement you can see through the see-through case back looks really, really nice. Okay, so Citizen is giving us a little message here right under the price that it is almost sold out. Order now. Now, I have no doubt that that is probably true and, you know, they're not just putting up there for marketing to kind of make us feel a little FOMO, but, but I want to say be careful because this is a very expensive watch for a Citizen. I'm not saying that it's not worth the money, but just from my perspective, you know, I know Citizen has some really nice watches in their lineup. They do have more expensive watches, but... For me personally, I feel like they offer a lot in terms of value, especially with the sort of their more mid-tier watches, like I think the Citizen Fujitsubo and the Promaster series of watches and those kinds of things. And this feels like kind of a novelty item. Now, what I'm saying is, and this is a rule, I think, for any kind of watch, if you like the watch and it's worth it to you, then go for it by all means. You know, I'm not saying that you should invest or speculate on any kind of watch, but I think with this one, the problem with this one is... I mean, the last upscale watches they've had on the site are like the $4,000 The Citizen series of watches, right? Or those really thin EcoDrive watches. This is twice that. So what I'm saying is this is a huge leap from those all of a sudden. And over $8,000, we're talking entry-level Rolex watches. So you have to ask yourself, you know, if you really, really, really love this dial and you're maybe a huge Citizen fanboy and just all the stars are aligning for you on this watch, finally, a uh, you know, a Citizen watch that's really, really expensive and one that I just really love and I'm ready to put down the money for it. That is awesome. But take a little bit of time to think about it because how many watches, if you have $8,000, $8,400 to spend on a watch, how many options do you not have at that level? You can get an entire collection of watches for that amount of money, of nice watches, right? So that's all I'm saying with this one. For me, it is a lovely watch. I love the way the movement looks through that case back. It looks like a phenomenal piece to have. And this is, you know, definitely a nice watch. But the price in terms of opportunity cost, when you get to that much money, twice the cost. I was looking at that $4,000, one of those $4,000 Citizen watches for myself. And at that point, I was even still like, you know, $4,000 is a lot of money. There's a lot of watches out there. You can Nice watches you can kind of think about for $4,000. But at $8,000, I mean, now we're at, literally you can get a Rolex for $8,400, right? Some of the entry level models. So you just have to really be careful, I think, and consider this one. Even if you do really love the piece, definitely also consider some alternatives because there's just a lot out there for $8,400, including an entire collection of Citizen watches for $8,400. Let me know what you think about this new release. I love it, but it is a little bit too expensive for my personal comfort. I have to admit, it tempted me when I first saw it, but I'm going to hold off on this one. I have been thinking about making a bit of a more expensive uh, watch purchase lately, which I won't talk about now. I have pretty much the watch, I think, set in mind that I wanna get. It's just a matter of when I'm gonna pull that trigger. It's going to be sometime in the short term. And I will let you know, and I will be doing videos on my channel about that watch. I will reveal it. Uh, it is not this one, and it's not uh, even close to $8,400. I'll give you a hint, it's about half that. But let me know what you think about this new release from Citizen. Do you think they're gonna to continue to go up market and try to do expensive pieces around this level? 
Tell me in the comments below, and I'll see you in another video very soon.